and hula hoops and there we go go all right so this is connected right it's connected however my controller is not working why not why not yes it's connected but ah uh, yes my vehicle is the um 2022 tesla model y performance which means that tesla disabled the data capability for the usb-c ports down here let's focus due to you know shortage in parts and everything tesla continues to sell you know an outrageous amount of vehicles compared to everybody else because while people are waiting tesla just modifies you know we'll ship something out with missing parts and everything just to make sure that they get those shipments out yep there here comes this piece right here which is the center center console data module this right here basically replaces the OEM center console module that's just provides power to those USB-C charging ports so that now this will be able to work with this and you know give back that full functionality I will be putting this in you know just to show you how easy it is and uh, you know hopefully you know I'm not embarrassed all right let's get to it with my trusty assistant over here See, I will hand you the camera. Here we are. So, this is the center console data module for Model 3 and Y. So, this should work for both. In the box, you will find the actual data module itself. Again, it replaces the OEM one. It comes with a, a torque screw, you know, to uh attach and detach the oem and it also comes with you know since it's a usb-c product it comes with a usb-c a i mean yes to you usb a to usb-c uh, adapter and it also comes with a pry tool to pretty much pull that console out so we'll, we'll get to it right now all right let me remove this I'm just going to it wedges at the bottom and you just pull it out yikes <laughs> so I guess you pull straight back Whew. That was not easy, <laughs> but we got it out. There we go. Pops right out. Everything is still intact. Thank goodness. So down here you can see the OEM versus the new one so this is the replacement the OEM has the data port over here but it is blank I will show you when I, after I pull it out there's a tab over here that's holding things in place and let me release that now so this is blank and this is the replacement OEM versus replacement. OEM is blank and the replacement is not. <clears throat> and in here, can you move the camera? You will find that the OEM is still there. The chip for it is just not provided. So they just taped it because again, Tesla uses the same parts, everything is modular. So the wiring harness is still there. However, they just don't have the parts, but that won't stop them from shipping the vehicle. So it is still there. 
All right. <sighs> so now I will unscrew the OEM from the mounting plate. Just three screws, which makes life, you know, a lot easier. And voila. And I will replace it with the new one with the data board. Again, it is super easy, super clutch. And we'll just use the same torque screws with the screwdriver that was provided. The hardest part of this process is pretty much pulling out the module itself, which you guys can see me struggle, but you just want to give it a nice tug, but try as much as possible not to break, you know, oh no. And that's another thing you don't want to do. You don't want any screws you know, falling down into the abyss and you can't find anything else. So here we are. Nice and tight. And now I need to get the... All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> the camera shut off. The A7 IV. The A7 IV just shut off. Uh, this is what I was using to record. It had an overheating situation and it just cut off. Um, people talk about the Canon R6 and say, you know, the R6, the R5 are the only ones plagued with that overheating situation. But that's not the case for my use case. You know, as you can see, it just overheated and cut off. You know, and that was not even 10 minutes. So we get the tape off the data cable. If I can, it's really tight in here. There we go. So that's the data. power and data delivery. So now all we do, since we already have this in place, power goes back, actually let's get data first, since this is shorter. So can you see that? Again, very, very tight space. So data goes to data, almost in there. Whew. That was tough and power goes to power. And that's it, and that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like right there. Again, the data cable is taped to the power, and there you have it, and then we can secure this back. And all we're doing is snapping everything back. You know? uh, let's make sure everything is in place. And we'll just snap them back. And that's it. And now for the moment of truth. Before snapping back, you should check and test and make sure everything works. But I'm going to do that now. So let's go back to the game screen. I'm gonna plug in my receiver. I'm gonna turn this back on. All right, let's make this full screen. Let's turn that on. There we go. And we have that took a second for the USB to connect. But now we have data from the USB-C 
uh, ports inside the front center console. And there you have it, it works. I will keep this in case, you know, something happens with my uh, current, uh, <laughs> the replace module and Tesla wants to act funny. All I'm doing again is plug and play. I just put that right back in there. I will keep it in the same shipping box that it came with. So that, there you have it. The name of the product is T-Parts uh, Center Console Data Module. This I purchased from Amazon and um, they also have a website. They are not sponsoring this uh, edutainment situation. I purchased this with my own money because I found you know, the information online and I decided to share and pass along for people who want that functionality functionality back but don't have it and there you have it like and subscribe see you on the next one thanks for watching adios